the Lifestyle website, julieblanner.com. And today is not only exciting because I'm sharing our bathroom remodel with you, but it's especially exciting because we're basically gaining a bathroom. You see, for the last five years that we've lived here at our home in St. Louis, Missouri, this bathroom was barely functional. It was small, dark, really crowded. There was barely enough room to sit on the toilet because of its proximity to both the vanity and the wall. And the bathtub could only accommodate a small child if and only if it was actually working. So you see, we not only added space and function and a lot of light to this space, but we also made it feel like a spa retreat. And I'm so excited to share that with you and how you can do it yourself. This bath also serves as our guest bathroom. If these walls could talk, they'd tell you about the shame on my face as guests walk down the dungeon they'd be using during the duration of their stay. In fact, I was mortified when people would come upstairs because it's the first thing you'd see in our hallway. First, we gutted the bath. In fact, Chris took on the task himself because he couldn't bear to look at it another day. I'm not sure who got more gratification out of seeing the old fixtures and popcorn ceilings removed. The dated cracked tile, the shower, the tub. Since we took it down to the studs, it was easy to bring this room up to code providing GFCI outlets, again, accommodating the toilet, and adding a vent fan. While we didn't change the footprint of the bathroom, we were definitely able to maximize space. One of the most notable differences is the removal of the soffits above both the shower and the bathtub. When the eye can go all the way to the ceiling, a room immediately feels larger. Removing the shower was also key to making the most of the footprint we had. We didn't really need two showers as much as it would be nice because it is the only bathroom for all three girls. It just wasn't practical. Of course, another way you can make a room feel larger is by selecting a paint with a high LRV. That means a light reflective value. We use Valspar and an eggshell sheen. We paired it with white tile so the eye continues in every direction. We even took the white subway tile all the way to the ceiling, which not only protects it from getting wet in the shower, but again draws that eye all the way up, making the room appear much larger and brighter. Mirrors can also help a small bath feel larger by reflecting light and giving a room more depth. And that is one of the many reasons why we chose these medicine cabinets. The medicine cabinets offer hidden storage, but the long mirrors, again, draw the eye to the ceiling and make the room appear larger by reflecting on the other areas of the room. And this bathroom has to not only accommodate our guests when they are coming to visit, but it also has to accommodate our three little girls, which at some point will mean a whole lot of getting ready in the bathroom. Even now at nine, seven, and six, they spend a decent amount of time working, doing their hair, brushing their teeth, etc. So we wanted to make it really functional for them, which means adding a lot of space. The previous vanity only had a single sink and a single mirror. Now you can imagine with three girls how challenging that just might be as soon as they enter high school. Let's face it, probably middle school. So we added a double sink vanity, which was just a few inches longer. And now that we've given up having the standalone shower in the corner, we were able to accommodate that. And so we chose a vanity that has both two cabinets, four drawers in the center, and um, two drawers below the cabinets. So a total of six drawers and two cabinets offers a lot of storage for these little girls. Also, we decided to opt for a medicine cabinet above each sink. Medicine cabinets are great because they offer hidden storage. It's otherwise underutilized space because you can go in between the studs and really gain a lot of additional space like these four shelves here. When we eliminated the shower, that also allowed us to shift the vanity away from the toilet. So it offers a little more space to accommodate our guests and the children, but it also um, brings that up to code because the toilet is no longer up against the wall. The air tub consumes the same amount of space as a traditional tub, however, it makes such a big impact. Unlike most of those dated jetted tubs, it uses the same exact footprint, is easy to step over and inside, and maximizes the interior space. It has a really discreet panel that's actually worked into the design, 
and one small panel of buttons to adjust your temperature and the air bubble. It feels like a spa right in our very own teeny tiny bathroom. Finally, we had a custom shade made which replaced the makeshift curtain to provide more privacy. Another way that we made this space really work for the girls is we added three towel slash robe hooks. That way everyone has a place for their own towels and there's no arguing. For art, I opted to frame one of the photographs that the girls took during our visit to Chincoteague Island last summer of the wild ponies. It looks really great in a maple frame for some contrast and to add a little warmth to this all white and green bathroom. As always, you can find all of my sources in the description below along with a link for even more detail. Don't hesitate to ask any questions. I love hearing from you. Don't forget to click subscribe and I look forward to seeing you again soon for another tour.